Hi guys, uh, my name's Dawn and I'm the Macmillan Move More Forth Valley uh, coordinator and I work with Active Sterling as part of their wider exercise referral team. And I'm here to talk to you today about doing some strength and balance exercises that we can do from our very own living room. Um, so just a couple of wee safety features. Uh, first of all guys, I want you to make sure that whatever chair you're going to be using is safe and stable and sturdy. And what I mean by that is it's not going to be wobbling about over the floor and you've got a good base to sit on. Um, and I want to also make sure as well that you have some nice stable footing on. Um, no sandals or flip-flops please, this has to be done in trainers. And also guys, that you've got a towel and water nearby as well, um, should you want it. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to just kind of start with doing a little bit of the seated warm-up. There's a few mobility exercises in there. It's going to be a really good wee pulse raiser. It's going to get our bodies warm um, and just kind of get that heartbeat going that little bit faster. Um, so I want you to come round. And all I want you to do guys, make sure before we sit down on the chair, your feet are flat on the floor. You can reach back with the hands and just take a nice big seat back. And before we all start slouching back in our seats, because I know how easy it is to do, I want you to just kind of bring yourself forward. So, scoosh the bum up, if that's the wee word. We're going to pop the feet on the floor there in front of us. And just make sure that your back is sitting uh, nice and tall and away from the back of the chair. Okay guys, are we ready? So just take a nice big deep breath in. Nice big deep breath out. And let's get started. So what I'm going to get you to do guys is we're going to roll through the shoulders, nice big circles, okay? So we're just wanting to really kind of start to mobilise, loosen up through that upper body. And it's a really good way guys if you've got any kind of built up tension that runs through the side of the neck, down into the shoulders. It's a really nice way just to start the workout by loosening it off and just relaxing a little bit. And then once we've done, I would say we go for maybe five or six. And then guys, what I'm going to get you to do here is bring the hands back up in front of you, to the front. And all I'm going to get you to do here is very slowly, we're just going to twist round, keeping our shoulders nice and level, as level as we can, and keeping it nice and slow. And the idea is here, these wee trunk twists are a really nice way of just loosening up all the muscles that run right the way down through our back into the tummy. We're going to do one more on each side and it's just about really going round as far as where it feels comfortable for you and then round towards that other side there. Fantastic. And bring it on back. Another one that we can do guys, it's a really nice wee way to, to loosen up, is to take the hands at the side of the chair. Now if you have any balance issues, this probably would be one that I recommend you do. Um, but what you can do is if you've got a wee hold on here of the chair, that will sometimes help. All we do here guys, it's just roll down and it's a little stretch down, back up into the centre and then across to the other side. And what you'll feel is you'll get a nice wee stretch into the waist there. And again, it's just a really nice way to loosen everything up here before we start moving. So we're going to do another one. And then as we come up, pop the hands onto the legs. So what we'll do now is we'll come down to this kind of lower body and um, we want to start to make sure that we've got good circulation that goes right the way down through the feet. So guys all I'm going to get you to do is just start with lifting your heels up and down off the floor and you're just coming up onto the toes and gently back down again. So again just lovely little ankle mobiliser there to get us going. And we're going to do one more of them and again you're looking to do maybe six to eight, you can do more if you want, depending on how long we've been sitting for. What I want you to do here is take a little step out, and this time guys, we're just going to lift the toes. And again, it just really kind of gets that foot moving and gets a little bit of that ankle flexion on the go. Perfect. If you can give me one more, and we're going to bring it back in. And now I think we're starting to ready, well, ready to start to warm up. Are you ready? So, into a little march. And guys, all I'm going to get you to do here is just lifting the feet up off the floor and really gently making sure we pop them back down. Please be very careful not to slam your feet, okay? It's got to be nice and light. Now you can keep your hands on your legs. You can take them to the chair if you're finding that you're getting a little bit out of balance. But if you're up for it, 
Let's bring the arms in. And it's that little kind of seated march. And what we can do is after we've done this for maybe 30, 40 seconds, is we can start to actually lift that knee that little bit higher. Yep. But again, guys, just a really good way. Gets that heart rate going, starts to warm that body up. And believe it or not, we're now starting to do that little bit of exercise, even though it doesn't really feel like it. So what I'm now going to do is we're going to do another one. We're going to take a little heel to the front and we're going to do a little heel tap. And again, if you're up for it, let's bring the hands in up here. Because not only is this good for the whole body workout, but it gets those wee elbow joints involved. So we're going to do another four, three, two, one, and relax there. Okay guys, give me a nice big roll through the shoulders. And I think what we're going to do now is we're going to come up, we're going to stand and we're going to continue our warm up behind the chair. If you do not want to stand up, you certainly don't have to, you can carry on the rest of the workout or sit, um, sitting on your chair. But for those of us that are coming up, feet nice and flat into the floor. Now we're going to just sit to stand. So what I want you to do here guys, is hands onto your legs or hands onto the chair if you feel you're going to need that little bit of a push. And we're just going to lean forward, we're going to stand up, nice and tall, and then we're going to take a little paddle out through the legs here at the bottom. And then when you're ready, we're going to walk around the back of the chair. So this really is why using a chair is really beneficial. Because not only can we do our seated exercise on it, but we can actually come back and we can use it as a balance aid if we wanted to. So as you can see, I've gone back into a little march. And again, holding onto the chair there for support. But by all means, if you don't want that support, you go for it with these arms, guys, okay? And doing this on the spot for, again, another wee minute or so is really going to lift that heart rate up that little bit more. So I'm going to come to the side so you can see just how high I'm bringing those legs up. So it's just enough that we're getting a little bit of a gap between the floor and the feet. And we're starting to feel that body actually doing something now. We're starting to feel it. It's warmer. You might be starting to feel the breathing is becoming a little bit, a wee bit more challenging. So we're going to do that for another three, two, one. Okay, hands to the side. So guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a side step. And again, by all means, you'll use your chair for support if you want to. So it's coming back in behind your chair. And what I'm going to get you to do is take a nice big step to the side and a little step back. And then a step in. Now again, if you're quite comfortable and you don't want to be using this chair as your support, you can pop your hands on your hips. Or you can simply have your hands by your side. Whatever you feel comfortable doing here, guys. So what we can do, if you want to, is we can take that into a double step. So it's one and two. One and two. And it's just about kind of opening up the hips a little bit, keeping a little bend in those knees, and bringing the feet back in together. Okay, so we should be feeling good, yeah? Body is starting to loosen up. We are nice and warm, and we are moving. So coming back in behind our chair, guys. I'm just gonna pop that to one side so you can see a little bit what I'm doing. I'm going to get you to take a little bend in the knees, again keeping the feet nice and flat onto the floor, and our hands are to the side. And what I'm going to get you to do here is a little side bend, so it's coming down and towards the knee, and back up. Down and towards the knee, and back up. And guys, this is a really great exercise for if we're lifting our shopping bags, so it's bending over, it's picking up, and it's lifting. And again, but also for what we're doing today in terms of workout, you've got it. It's loosening off those muscles that work right the way down the waist and they keep our spine nice and strong and supported. And one more on each side. Last one. And then from here guys, you can go back into a little march. 
So by now we should be feeling nice and warm and we're going to crack on with the rest of our strength exercises. So let's do that for a couple more seconds guys. And you can relax. Thank you guys. Warm up complete. Hi guys, we are back and we are going to do our strength element of the workout now. And I just want to remind you as well that um, as we're doing our strength exercises, if you are experiencing any pain at all, an unusual pain in the or pain that you haven't had on a regular basis in your muscles um, or in your joints, please stop straight away um, and you can go back to the chair and you can do that kind of seated warm up there that we've, we've just completed. You can do that again or we can even do some of the strength ones from the chair, which I will show you. So what we're going to do guys is we're going to focus today on kind of working these larger muscles that work right the way down through the legs, so quads, hamstrings. We're going to do a little bit of work at the bottom of the legs as well for our calf. Um, and like I say, I'll give you seated and we can do standing options for these. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do our knee bends, okay? So what I want you to do is take your feet standing about hip width apart, a little bend in the knees. Make sure you've got your chair there, guys, for support if you want it. Otherwise, you can take your hands to your hips. And all I want you to do at this point is come on down into a little knee bend. So it's a really good one to do just at the end of the warm-up because it's almost kind of bridging that gap between mobility and strength. And just come down to where it feels comfortable. You certainly don't have to go down very far. And you want to make sure that the whole of your foot stays on the floor. Be very, very careful here, guys, that what you don't want to do is when you come forward as you lift your heels, okay? So how are we doing? Are we still going for these wee bends? We're going to do a wee couple more. One and two. Fab. And at the end of every exercise here, and you want to maybe only do, I would say about 10 or 12 of them, depending on how you're feeling today. Um, you always give that little paddle out. It's a really nice way just to kind of get the circulation going again. It just helps to loosen off the muscles and it releases any of that tension there that you've built up. So the next exercise we're going to do here, guys, today, um, strength exercise, is our leg lift. So again, a really, really nice one here. Um, it's a great strengthener for your hip joint. It gets all the muscles moving through our quads into our hamstrings, so the front and back of thigh. So again, using the chair for support if you wanted to. I want you to bring your tummy in nice and tight, relax the shoulders back. And guys, all I'm gonna get you to do here is a little kick and tap. So what I want you to do is very carefully control the move. One and two, yeah. And it's just about getting that little bit of height so we start to feel the muscles working. Now be aware, you will also feel this guys in your standing leg. This leg all of a sudden contracts all those muscles to make sure that we can kind of keep our balance, okay? But like I say, that's what the chair is there for. Please use it for support. If not, simply bring the hands to the side. An option for that one guys, if you'd rather not lift the leg, is just go for that little tap out to the side and back in instead. And this would be your seated option. So if you are sitting on the seat right now, you would just simply tap one leg out and bring it back in. One leg out and back in. And once you've done your 10 or 12, we go back in to a nice, sweet, easy lunch. So the thing is, good news, you've done one side, bad news, still got the other side to go. So again, exactly the same rules apply. Use your chair for support, hands to the side, or hands onto the hips, whatever feels comfortable for you. And let's go for that little lift. What I want you to be very careful of here, guys, as well, is that you're not tipping, okay? So making sure that we're standing up nice and tall, shoulders are back, chest is out, and that we're lifting, we're controlling the lift and controlling it as it comes back down. At no point do we want to be swinging that leg up and then just hoping we catch it. So up and back. And you'll start to feel that working again, like I said, top of those thighs. Muscles are working, but you'll also maybe feel this a little bit here in that standing leg as well. And 
then we'll do one more, and then we're going to go into that little march. Okay. So guys, our next exercise that we're going to do is we're going to do our knee bend. Um, but it's a back knee bend, okay, or a leg lift to the back, whatever you want to call it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to stand, you're going to stand this time kind of side on to the back of the chair. We're going to take our fingertips to the front of the chair. And all I'm going to get you to do here, guys, is just slowly lift the heel to the back and then place it back down onto the floor. So up to the back and back down onto the floor. So it's a really good strengthener there for the back of the knee. One. And again, it's just making sure that we gently place that foot back onto the floor. And we're going to do a couple more of these. And again, like I said, hands onto the hips there, sometimes helps the balance if you would rather not use that chair. And relax there. And again guys, a little march or paddle. And all we do is we simply move that onto the other side. Okay, so exactly the same thing. Up to the back and back into the floor. One and two. One and two. So I want you to keep doing that for me. What I am going to do is just show you a wee seated option that you can actually use, guys. So when you're taking a wee seat, it's going back to what we did in the warm-up there. It's just making through it forward. And it's just simply giving that little tap out to the front. We still get that mobility work through the knee. All right. When you've done your 10 or 12, please remember to do that little march and paddle. And when you're ready, we're going to move on to our calf raises. So, the calf raises, guys, are a fantastic exercise that work right the way down the bottom here. That tiny little muscle at the calf actually has a huge part to play in our stability and our um, ability to walk. So what I'm going to get you to do, uh, fingertips to chair, as always, tummy locked in, shoulders back, and you're going to come up onto the toes and back down into the floor. Up onto the toes and back down. Now, as we come up, you'll feel those calves automatically, they kind of contract they go a little squeeze at the top and then we kind of release at the bottom. So again guys, you can do this sitting on a chair, yeah? All we do, bring the feet in front of you and we come up, you would lift up the heels, very similar to what we did in the warm up there for that mobility exercise. Perfect. And we're going to do one more of these. And by now, we should be starting to feel those muscles working that little bit more, yeah? So remember what I was saying before, a little burn is absolutely fine, especially if it's a muscle that we're working with. Any shooting pains or any um, extreme joint pain, you cease the exercise, guys, okay? And you have a little rest. Okay, guys, so I have one more exercise in the strength that I want to show you today, um, and it's a really good one. It gets the muscles working right the way down here, the front of these uh, thighs into the quads. Um, so we use these big muscles when it comes to things like our uh, climbing up steps, when we're getting in and out of a car. So really, really important that we keep them nice and strong. So behind our chairs, what I'm going to get you to do now is kind of turn side on so you're facing the wall, or the chairs now to your side. And what I'm going to get you to do here, guys, is your outside leg, we're going to lift it up as high as we can and we're going to pop it back down onto the floor. So again, just lift it up and back down again. Now, just take it as high as you can, even if it means we're just going a little bit higher than our march, that is absolutely fine. We're still getting that muscle moving. So lift and drop. And again, guys, you know the rules. Hands to chair, unless you feel absolutely fine there standing without it and again the same rule applies with all our strength, ex uh, strength exercises you're looking around about kind of 10 to 12 um, just enough really that we can feel the burn and we can get them working but if you're doing this every day um, some people you can do them morning and night um, it's just a really good way to help build up that strength 
Okay guys, so again, march, paddle. Now you can, if you wanted to at this point, change sides, okay, just depending on how your chair and how your living room and everything's all set out. I've actually got enough room here that I'm just going to do exactly the same now on the other side. So again, just lifting up nice and high. And again, the main thing guys really is controlling that move. Yep. So again, just nice and slowly. Nice big deep breaths in. And then back down onto the floor. So we've got a couple more of these to go. And we'll do one more. And bring it back. And then just go and march the spot. Just make sure, guys, that whatever exercise you're doing, you're keeping count and you're doing the same on each side. Um, and that way you're going to make sure that your body is getting the same workout and the same intensity down each leg into each of the muscles as best we can. Hi guys, okay we are back and now we're going to do a couple of balance exercises. Um, so remember, balance is uh, so important for everybody in their everyday lives. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of exercises that are going to practice our stability on one side of the body. Um, and then all we need to do is simply come back and cool down and we're going to do that back in our chair. So first exercise when it comes to our balance that I'm going to get you to do today is very similar to what we did with our calf raises. Remember we lift our heels up off the floor but what I'm now going to get you to do is we're going to hold it up there. So I'm going to move my chair around so you can see exactly what I'm doing. You guys can stay exactly where you are. So what I want you to do here guys, again now with balance it is really important that you do have your hands on the chair at all point. If you wanted to, you could take one away, but please remember guys, um, we do want you to be holding on to something when you're doing these um, exercises. And what I'm gonna get you to do here is just very slowly, we're gonna come up onto our toes, and I'm just gonna get you to hold. Now what you can do, like I say, if you wanted to kind of practice that balance that little bit more, And we're just simply going to hold this for around about that 30 seconds. So the options are two hands. Your options are bring it back to your fingers or even bring it back to one finger or one hand. Oh. It is okay to feel a little bit wobbly, okay? And it's all right for the body to move a little bit. That is your body trying to stabilize itself and it's actually going to make us stronger in the long run. And then all I'm going to do, guys, is bring it on back and heels down. Okay, excellent. Now, it's just, I quite like to do that one, as I say, because it sets us up nicely for what we're going to do next, which is going to be our toe lift. We're going to lie, um, balance back onto our heels. So again, stance stays the same, yeah? All we do this time is you're going to come back and we're going to lift our toes off the floor. Now, just be very careful at this point that we're not all standing with our butts out, okay? So we just straighten it back up, pull it in, posture nice and tall. And again, you've got a choice, guys, of how much stability you want, how much support you feel you need using that chair in front of you. I'm not feeling very stable today, so I'm using both my hands. And again, nice big deep breaths in. It really is just about holding it, maybe challenging it for a couple of seconds, taking it back to one hand, and then bring it back in. And then guys, again, you wanna hold that for roughly maybe about 30 seconds. Or build up to 30 seconds, so we'll start with that, build up to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to practice our little one leg stand. So this is one that I do with every single one of my classes. Um, I absolutely love it. It is a fantastic balance exercise to do and I feel that everybody should be doing them um, every day if possible. Um, it's something you can do while standing at the kitchen sink. You can be doing it when you're brushing your teeth. Um, and we're going to show you how to do this now. So what I'm going to get you to do is we stand again with our balance aid to the side. You're going to take the outside leg and we lift, okay? Now, you're going to bring the knees in so they're nice and line and we're going to fix our posture so we're standing nice and tall and we're going to hold this now for 30 seconds. So what it does is it builds the strength and stability right the way down that side. It loads the joints, it helps us get that little bit stronger and it helps improve those balance, that balance. So how are we feeling? Still feeling a wee bit wobbly. 
So a few more seconds guys, and then what we're going to do is move this across now to the other side. So we're going to do three, two, one, well done. And again, take that little paddle out, release any tension that's built up there on that side. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to move my chair across, okay? You guys, if you're up for it, can simply turn around. Yep. And we've changed that leg. So, I'm just going to pull this across here. Because remember, I do not want you lifting chairs across your living room, so make sure that you have switch sides. And we're going to practice this again, yep, on the other side. So again, posture, balance aid, and lift. Right, and again, just making sure that our knees aren't too far forward, that causes us to slouch, standing nice and tall, pulling the knee back, keeping the heel nice and high. And what you might find actually, guys, is you've got one side that's stronger than the other. It is completely natural. Um, I don't actually know which side is my stronger side today. They're both as bad as each other. But you will generally have a left or a right side that you find, oh, actually, this feels a lot easier. It's generally the rule of thumb. So again, just making sure we're not leaning into the chair in any way. Standing nice and tall, and we've got a few more seconds to go. And we're going to go in three, two, one. Well done. And bring it on back. And that standing leg, you might again just get a little bit of burn, a wee bit of tension building up, so that's why it's really important just to march it out. So that's all the balance. Um, what I'm now going to do, guys, I'm going to bring the chair back in front of me and we're going to do a little bit of a cool down. Uh, we've got a stretch out as well on the chair. Um, I absolutely love stretching out on the chair. I just find it really, really relaxing. Um, and again, because it involves us moving body positions um, forward and back, it's always quite nice if we're sitting to do it. It's just a little bit safer if we're going to be exercising from home. So we're going to come back down onto the chair. So again, feet flat on the floor. Take a little step back if you want to, so you can feel the chair against your legs. And we come down. Good. And then, can I shuffle the bum forward a wee bit? Now, to cool down guys, do you remember those mobility exercises we did in the warm up? A really, really nice way just to help relax the body again. So what I'm gonna do is just bring it on down. And we're just gonna simply kind of slide down side to side. One. And two. And again, just taking it to where we feel comfortable to. What I'm going to get you to do now is take it down and give me a little hold. Okay. So it's just about pushing it, making sure you feel comfortable, making sure you can hold on to the side of the chair there if you need it. Now each of these stretches, guys, you want to only hold for maybe about 15 seconds. You can go a little bit longer if you want. But bring it back up. And across to the other side. And exactly the same thing we're going to hold. <laughs> Excuse me. So what we're going to do, guys, come up. And we're going to take that across to the other side. And I'm just going to get you to hold. And again, around about 15 seconds, we'll do the trick. And bring it back in. So again, really nice way just to kind of roll out the shoulders, reset that posture. So nice big circles all the way around, guys. And one more. And then again, just bringing those hands up in. And maybe just go for that little twist round again. One into the centre. And two. At this time round, you don't need to do that many of them at all. Not as many as what we did in the kind of ability warm up. Two or three usually do the trick. It's just quite a nice way to keep the body moving while we're letting that heart rate come down a little bit. So as we come onto our stretches, guys, it's a really nice stretch I want to do for the upper body. So if you take your hands to the chair, and you just simply give it a little walk back there in the hands. Take a wee hold. And guys, just kind of hold the chair, stretch out the chest. Now, depending on your mobility, you might not be able to get right the way to the back of the chair. That's absolutely fine. If you want to, you can take the hands to the bottom of the bum, 
or you can even just take it back halfway back, that's absolutely fine. It's just enough that we're getting a little bit of a pull in the shoulders and the chest stays up nice and strong. Feel it? And relax there. Well done. And all we do is we kind of walk that back in. And the next stretch we're going to do, we're going to come down, it's going to stretch through the hamstrings. Um, it's got a bit of a dual purpose, this one. It's a really good one to stretch out the, the back of the thigh. But also it helps with our mobility, so things like putting your socks and shoes on as well. It's a really nice way of just increasing how far we can reach down to the floor. So I want you to take a little step out. And all I want you to do here, guys, is take a hold, uh, take a hold, pop your hands onto your thigh. And we're just going to slowly kind of walk them down. Now again, you only do this one to where you feel comfortable to. Um, and if you feel you're losing your balance in any way, you can sit a little bit further up and you don't have to go down past the knee. But if you feel comfortable and you're up for it, just slowly walk the hands down as far as we can go until you feel that little bit of a stretch on the back of the thigh. And then again, guys, we would just walk that all the way back up. What I'm going to get you to do now though is take a nice big deep breath in. Nice big deep breath out. And we're going to try that again. And just see if there's any way that we can actually walk those hands down. Maybe that little bit more. Yeah, so it's taking it down. If we can, kind of get down to the ankle level. But again, wherever you feel comfortable, where's your safe zone, you stay within that. And then guys, all we're going to do here is we just simply walk that all the way back up. So we're going to do the same now onto the other side, exactly the same. So just take a little step out. Again, make sure we've got our nice kind of stable base, our bums are in the chair. Hands onto the leg, and let's walk it down, yeah? And again, same rules apply. Take it down to where we feel comfortable. Hold for about 10, 15 seconds. And then guys, we can walk it back up. And I always like to do two on this side, as I say, it's got a dual purpose. So nice big deep breath in, deep breath out. And walk and take it down if we can that little bit further and we should feel it um, in the back of the thigh if you feel it into your lower back that's absolutely fine and the reason we're feeling it into that lower back is it's because we are leaning forward so if our muscles are a little bit tight around there that's where we're going to get a little bit of a pull there but it's fine it's just a little bit of a stretch but again any sharp pains that you would stop straight away Bring it up guys, feet back under. And all I'm going to get you to do is take a nice big deep breath in. Nice big deep breath out. Now you can do that again, but if you wanted to, let's do a little lift. So nice big deep breath in. Nice big deep breath out. And guys, give yourselves a massive hand. Guys, well done. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I really hope that you're going to get some benefit from doing these exercises. Um, like I say, the main points to really kind of focus on are work within your limits, okay? Only do your range um, or what works for you. Keep the moves all slow and controlled. There is absolutely no need to be super speed through all these exercises. Slow and controlled is definitely better. And uh, enjoy it. And as I say, once you start to do these, I would try and do them if you could, guys, on a daily basis. Um, they'll become much more normal, much more routine, um, and then hopefully we'll be back with more. Okay, thank you.